not even going in your face. <laughs> your it goes, beard. It goes to here. <laughs> Bye, night. Anyways, we're having a spa night because we leave um, to go, well, I guess we leave for Denver tomorrow. How do you feel about it? It's going to be good. It's going to be great. Sally, we got to go bye-bye. We gotta go bye bye. You too. You too. Sully won't get out of the van. We hopped in. You're not coming this time. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. Let's go. <laughs> hey, so we're gonna talk about gear. Honestly, I hate talking about gear. I really don't care about gear all that much. Um, half of our stuff is like really cheap garage sale, REI garage sale items, and then like there are some things from Walmart, and then there's some things that we splurged on, but uh, Parks definitely did more of the research on gear, so I might let him take it away. Um, but we're going to go through our big four items, and then we'll kind of go into, like, the miscellaneous things that we're bringing as well. Yeah, so first thing first is the backpack. We have ULA Circuit, and these bags weigh about two pounds, and so it's a little heavier than uh, some of the other ultralight bags out there. But it goes up to 68 liters, and so 68 liters... You may have too much, but you're never gonna have too little of space. So. And mine's yeah. back there. I've got a blue one right there. We have um, just our trusty REI quarter dome for two people. Uh, we've had it since we started getting into backpacking. It's always been super trustworthy. Um, since we're both backpacking together, I will be packing the footprint and the rain fly, and then he's got the tent and the stakes. So. Um, we're just trying to split weight a little bit, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I know. All right, for our sleeping bags, we have the um, REI Magma 30 degree sleeping bag. Um, we were actually going to bring these on the PCT. They're uh, a lot. I would say most people um, get a lot warmer of a sleeping bag, but I don't know. We just kind of landed on these. It was a lot cheaper, um, but we've always stayed pretty warm in these. Um, this is how small it packs down to, and they're really lightweight. And then on those really cold nights, I actually have a liner. It's a Thermolite Fabric Reactor Extreme, and it's supposed to add like 15 degrees um, to your sleeping bag. Um, he doesn't have one. He says he doesn't need one. I sleep a little cold, so I'm bringing this. So hopefully we'll stay warm. <laughs> yeah. Next is our sleeping pad. It's the Nemo Switch back. Is it switch back? Yeah, switch back. And uh, a lot of people carry these because they don't want to pump it up when they get to campsite with their mouth, like all the other, uh, what is it, the uh, Thermarest. So pretty excited about not having to do that. But it does make your backpack look a lot bigger and heftier. I don't like that part, but it, it'll be all right. Yeah. Okay, so um, for our shoes, we have the Ultras 4, I think. Is it 4? Ultra Lone Peak 4. Ultra yeah. Lone Peak 4. Um, they're awesome. I love it. Uh, it's a zero drop, which um, it takes some getting used to, but I've really enjoyed it. Um, I already <laughs> hiked through one pair, so this is actually my second pair. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of what we're both going with. And then I also have Dirty Girl Gators. Um, they're going to be really helpful, uh, with, you know, avoiding, um, getting rocks in your shoe or anything like that. Do you have gators? No, I do not have gators. 
I will see if it seems like it's something I should get. Um, and then I have some Target sandals, look like Tevas. They were $25 and they weigh seven ounces. And this is part of my luxury item because I think I want to have sandals to walk around in town sometimes. And I have Crocs and they're going to be great. I love them. I wear them all the time. And uh, yeah, so those are my camp shoes. These are my trekking poles. They are black diamond um, carbon Z's. I love them. They're great. Super lightweight. And these are Gossamer gear. They are quite pricey, like most ultralight uh, trekking poles, I believe. These were $1.95, and then if you got, I think we got these on sale, so maybe $1.75. But uh, yeah, they're very lightweight, cool carb, uh, cork on the end, so. And yeah. he wrapped uh, Luco tape around his, which we, we use Luco tape for everything, blisters, tears, uh, tape, anything. It's <laughs> so, great. Uh, yeah, it's going to be helpful to have. Our coats we plan on wearing. This is my um, Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisper. I've had it for like a year and a half, and I love it. It's great. It's so lightweight, but I rarely have gotten cold while wearing this, so... Yeah, this is a, my coat. And I have an REI co-op older jacket. Uh, it is down. It doesn't have a hood, which I know most people think you're insane, and I think I possibly will be insane if I take it, so I might, might change over to another Mountain Hardware jacket I have. It has a hood. It's a little heavier, but uh, I think it's going to be much better, so I'm not sure if I'm going to take this yet or not. I've got three days to figure it out. <laughs> So, um, clothes, just what I plan on bringing with me. I've got a Patagonia R1 as a, um, just a zip up, just to keep me warmer. Um, and then I also have, by the way, this is my stuff sack for all my clothes. Um, these are my, I think they're called Aphrodite. I think they're just R, no, I think they're North Face Aphrodite pants. I honestly don't know how to say the word, but they're awesome. Um, they're quick drying, and they also are water repellent. But uh, yeah, those are awesome. Um, these are my Brooks uh, biker shorts that I plan on hiking in for the most part. And then I've got my, um, this is like my sun hoodie, and I honestly don't remember. North Face, it's just a North Face sun hoodie. And then here's my hiking shirt. So it's just a smart wool tank top. And then here's my icebreakers, uh, smart wool, or not smart wool, I'm sorry, icebreakers. It's just a merino wool base layer. And also merino wool icebreaker uh, base layer leggings. No, that's what I plan on sleeping in. And then I've got Athleta shorts. I plan on sleeping in these as well, or um, going into town in those. I try to keep those as clean as possible. Um, and then I've got my gloves. Um, I don't remember where I got these. It was like at a general store in Knoxville. <laughs> um, and then I've got my Carhartt beanie, because my coat doesn't have a hood either. And then I've got my sleeping socks, my hiking socks, my long hiking socks, and then my underdoodles. Um, I don't remember, I've got two sports bras and they're really awesome. Uh, they, I don't remember what, what they're called, but it's what a lot of hikers get. Oh, it's the icebreaker, merino, it's just a sports bra. I've got this one, and then I've got this one, and then I've got two Exficio, Exficio underwear. It's, uh, yeah, just two pairs. And then um, I've got my buff that will also double up as my mask when I'm in town. And then I've got my hat, too. This is just my Tilly sun hat. Ooh. All right. So, I'll do it fast. These are my base layers. They're just your basic REI long johns. They're actually the short ones, so they kind of look like capris. 
going to be really cool looking. And here's my REI base layer shirt. It is made of probably polyester, so I'm going to smell really bad in that. Get merino wool. It would help you a lot. I should get it. Um, here's some uh, camp socks. These are darn toughs. And then I have, for hiking, I have two pair of these NG NG socks. Uh, they have toe socks, and so it will reduce the chafing between your, your toes. Here's a beanie. Here are some REI gloves, just fleece gloves. That'll help out with the wind. Um, what else we got? Oh, and we're fully frog togging it, by the way. Um, this is just our rain gear. Uh, super cheap. I think we got it on Amazon for like next to nothing. But yeah, rain pants and poncho. Yeah. And here is a fleece uh, Patagonia jacket that's just kind of there under my puffy when it gets pretty cold. Uh, bought on eBay for like 20 bucks. Pretty cool. And then I have my shirt I'll be hiking every day which is this REI, it's kind of it's kind of similar to the uh, uh, Columbia jackets that or shirts that people wear. Um, forgot what, the, what they're called exactly, but uh, I said REI, this is actually North Face. I've had this for 10 years since high school, so it'll be doing good still. So uh, yeah, that's, that's yeah. what we plan on wearing on the trail. Basically. Okay, water. So um, here's like our water system. We've got our two smart water bottles. I labeled one um, clean, one dirty. And so we attach our Sawyer Squeeze on the dirty smart water bottle. It will have all of our dirty unfiltered water and then we will empty it into the clean one. And so that's how we have uh, water on the trail. And then um, two liters won't be enough. So we have our two C knock bags and this holds what? One liter each or two? Two. Two liters each. So we actually might need, might not need both of these, but we'll figure it out. Uh, all right, so when it comes to cooking, here we are. We have the MSR Pocket Rocket. This is purchased back in 2016. I know they've come out with some different ones since then that are way better when it comes to fuel consumption with your cans. So who knows if we go along and splurge on something like that. This is what we have for now. And then we are sharing our pot. Um, it's just like the generic pot that REI carries. We got this probably when we bought that as well. So. It's a little over 32 ounces. Um, so it'll be hopefully enough for both of us to make food for the night just in one go. Um, and then for uh, lunch, we plan on cold soaking in our Talenti jars. So we've got our Talenti jar right here. And then we also have our food bag, and this is a 13 liter uh, food bag. It's waterproof, and um, yeah, should be enough. I think you have one as well, right? Yeah, we both have one. Yeah. And then we always carry just some random things. So here's just some little items that I plan on having. Here's my Hump Optic um, sunglasses. Honestly, they're cheap. I don't recommend them, but they sent me a free pair after my other one. Uh, was destroyed even though they're uh, they're what's the word indestructible, indestructible. yeah it, they're not <laughs> um, sunscreen my headlamp hand sanitizer chapstick my headphones and then as far as toiletries go I've got my little fold up toothbrush. I've got uh, wet wipes. And then I've got a little bag of things. So this is kind of our med kit. Um, I've got allergy pills, ibuprofen. Um, we're gonna add some melatonin in there. Uh, I've got my inhaler because I do have asthma. Um, and then I've got some like med supplies, so like band-aids. And then we also have our Lugo tape and then a few tampons. And then uh, toothpaste and my fold up um, hairbrush, which also has a mirror, so that'll be nice. And then our trowel, uh, so we can dig the best cat holes. Right. 
And then just some other random items. Um, I'm going to be journaling, so I have my uh, weatherproof right in the rain journal and pen. And then um, I'm bringing my little pocket holy Bible that my best friend sent me. Um, obviously, it's not the whole Bible, but it's got some uh, key verses in here. So I'm going to bring that on the trail with me. Um, we do have these like portable aqua iodine pills just in case something happens with their solar squeeze. And then um, I have this pop-up mug or bowl. I will find a use for it however way in my spork. And then um, here's all of my like electronics stuff. So um, I have the Anchor um, portable charger. And so this should charge my phone up to four times, com like completely charge it. Um, and I think it only takes like an hour, hour and a half for this to fully charge when we're in town, which is going to be really nice. Um, but yeah, that's everything I have. One thing that's different from her is I currently have this bear, it's a bear hanging bag. So essentially you got your rope on the inside and you can put rocks or whatever in this and throw it over a tree. I feel like I shouldn't have purchased this for $24 because I easily could have bought some rope and just done almost anything like for a bag and thrown it over a tree. So I already feel bad about that purchase, but we have it. So that's exciting. Um, outside of that, I also have, I have a Sawyer squeeze, not the micro. I bought this used like a few years ago. I have no idea why I did that. I hope it works. Um, here we have our Garmin InReach Mini, uh, it's just in case stuff hits the fan. And uh, I have also a power bank, very similar to hers. And I mean, everything else about the same. Got a black diamond headlamp, very simple one too. It's just a one button. I don't like all the buttons and trying to figure out what button makes the light turn green next. So. Very simple. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Yeah, we're hoping our base weight will be around 14, 15 pounds once uh, we split up everything. Um, but yeah, we're excited. We're gonna hit the trail in just a few days. Um, I'm sure some of these items are gonna go in the hiker box. <laughs> um, I Yeah, I'm sure of it. Um, but yeah, we're really excited. Uh, just a little bit of background information. Um, this is our first long distance through hike. We are originally supposed to hike the PCT this year, but due to COVID, we had to cancel our plans. And so we're moving forward with the Colorado Trail. And uh, we're both 27. We've been married for almost five years. And uh, this is just like our biggest passion and we love doing it together. And somehow we don't get sick of each other. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. We're and uh, we have masks too, have masks. or buffs. It just, you know, I think we'll have, we may have both because um, we have like very lightweight, yeah. lightweight masks. So. We're sending ourselves two resupply boxes um, to Twin Lakes and I think it was Molas, Molas Lake Campground, and then we'll be resupplying um, in town safely with our masks on. Um, so yeah, we're excited, nervous, elated, and uh, let's do this thing.